President Trump is on his way to Asia for his biggest and most difficult foreign trip since becoming president. Top of the agenda in Tokyo, Seoul and Beijing will be North Korea's nuclear missile program. South Korean intelligence suggests the North may be preparing for more missile and nuclear tests. With tensions on the Korean peninsula at their highest in two decades, our Asia correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes has been flying with the US 8th fighter wing as they practice for potential conflict with the North. At Gunsan Air Base in South Korea, the US Air Force is practicing for war with North Korea. I'm riding with Colonel Stephen Tittle, call sign Wolf 2. Today's mission is called a red flag, simulated air-to-air -air combat. Our role is to act as a North Korean intruder. Okay, so they're off our now about seven Altitude. miles. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to engage them. Okay. Okay, we're going to engage the one on the right side. And he's passing, passing us right over the top of us. This is not a game, especially with President Trump talking about war. If there were a conflict, you have a fairly daunting task. Any conflict, and especially this conflict, is one that you really don't want to see if you can avoid it. But uh, if, it, if it does come to that, there's no better fighter wing in the world prepared to deal with the threat that we deal with out here. As President Trump arrives in Asia, intelligence reports say Kim Jong-un may be preparing more missile and nuclear tests. After the last test, this was President Trump's chilling response. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. The United